Sage Does Pilates, written by Clarissa Shepard. This book is dedicated to my two amazing daughters, Sage and Samara, who I love dearly. A few tips you should know before doing this book. Wear comfortable clothes, bare feet or non-slip socks, take a break as needed, and take your time doing the exercises. But most importantly, have fun. Hi, my name is Sage, and my mommy and I like to do Pilates together because it's fun. Have you done Pilates with your mommy? Have you done Pilates before? If not, that's okay. Imagine you are a butterfly flying from flower to flower. Lay down on your back. Lift your head and chest up and look at your belly button. Bring your knees towards your chest. And move your arms up and down like a happy butterfly. This exercise represents the hundred. Imagine your leg is a crown. Lay down on your back and bring one leg up towards the ceiling. Draw a big circle with your crown. Make the circle big. Make the circle small. Change direction. And then switch legs. Make the circle big. Make the circle small. Change direction. This exercise represents the one leg circle in Pilates. Imagine you are an armadillo egg rolling into a tight ball. Start seated on your bum and bring your knees to your chest and keep your feet on the floor. Bring your eyeballs to your belly and pause here. Now, if you're a really big kid, maybe five or older, try lifting your feet off the floor and balance. If you feel like you got that down pack, keep your eyeballs towards your belly button and then roll back onto your shoulders and then come up really quick. And go back and come up really quick. Do that a couple of times. This exercise represents rolling like a ball in Pilates. Imagine your legs are scissors cutting through paper. Lie down on your back and hold on to your right leg. And then pause. See if you can bring your hands up a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and all the way up towards your ankle. Can you smell your toes without bending your knee? Hold it there, then switch legs. Walk your leg, your hands up as high as you can. And then pause. Switch legs and pause. Switch and pause. Switch and pause. And switch and pause. This exercise represents scissors in Pilates. Imagine your hands can chop wood. Sit down onto your bum, upright, and open your legs like the letter V. Move your left hand over to your right leg. Can you touch your right pinky toe? And then say, cut, cut, cut. Say, cut, cut, cut. Then switch and go to the other side, reaching for your left leg with your right hand and say, cut, 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 cut. Repeat that a few times. This exercise represents song in Pilates. Imagine you 
are a baby swan looking for its mommy in a lake. Lie down on your tummy and lean onto your elbows, making the number 11 with them. Lift your head up and look towards the left and say, honk, honk, honk. And then look towards the right and say, honk, honk, honk. This exercise represents swan in Pilates. Imagine you are a turtle. Sit onto your legs with your knees bent so your bum is resting on your heels. And then place your tummy and chest on the floor with your arms straight out in front of you on the mat. Place your forehead down onto the floor and using your hands, bring your bum all the way towards your heels in your rest pose, like a turtle shell. Can you count to 10 while we're there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This exercise represents rest pose in Pilates. Imagine your body is a bridge for cars to go under. Bzz, bzz, Lie on your back with your knees bent. Lift your bum up in the air and allow the cars to pass quickly under you. Sage has a Barbie dream truck. What type of truck do you have going underneath your bridge? Once you have your bridge up for about five seconds, go ahead and bring your bridge back down. Lift your bridge up again. Let the cars go under and then bring it back down. Let's do it one more time. Lift your bridge up. Let all the cars go under super fast. And then bring your bridge down. This exercise represents shoulder bridge in Pilates. Imagine your body is a peace sign. Sit on your bottom and then bring your knees into your chest. Keep your feet on the floor and wait there. Place your hands underneath your knees and pause. Without rolling back, can you bring your legs up in the air, making the letter V with your body? If you feel like you got it, can you now take your hands and place them onto your toes or close to it? Can you make the letter V with your two fingers? This exercise represents teaser one in Pilates. Great work. Imagine you are a mermaid sitting at the beach. Sit down with your legs folded to the right Lift your left arm up and bend towards the right. Blow your mommy three kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And then change sides and let's do it again. Mwah, mwah, mwah. This exercise represents mermaid in Pilates. Imagine you are a seal clapping its flippers together. Sit down and take your feet into your hands and clap like a seal and say, arf, 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 arf. This exercise represents seal in Pilates. Great work, everyone. You just did your first Pilates class. I hope you had fun. Until next time, bye everyone. This is Sage from Sage Does Pilates. Bye.
Hi friends, this is Clarissa Shepard here, the author of Sage Does Pilates. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my cartoon. And you can purchase my book on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, or through my website, which is Pilates, P-I-L-A-T-E-S, mommy spelled M-A-M-I-I dot com. See you soon. Bye.